Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a lip swatch video with you. I haven't done a lip swatch video since way back last year so I thought maybe I could get into the swing of doing a couple more lip swatch videos just because I kind of miss them and I do have a lot of different brands in my collection. So I wanted to start showing you guys some different lipstick swatches and lip gloss swatches and just different stuff that I own and I thought it would be good for you guys because whenever I'm ordering online or whenever I am searching for or a lipstick or something like that. I always check swatches because I like to see how they look on different skin tones. I haven't seen that many Tom Ford lip swatch videos so I have six lipsticks and that may not be a lot of lipsticks but they are very 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 expensive so these are definitely more luxury lipsticks and if you are going to buy one you're going to want to make sure that you like the colour so I wanted to kind of swatch each one for you guys and I'm just going to talk about them a little bit. Before I get into the swatches I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the lipsticks. I'm going to tell you guys like a little mini review on them. My packaging is very expensive, very heavy and very luxury feeling. Completely black box cube with gold around it. Now what is more luxury than black and gold? I don't think there's anything more luxury than that but they are just amazing. They look incredible. You feel pretty bossy taking these out your purse and putting it on you know they are very high-end and luxury so as these are all used lipsticks I can't show you how the lipsticks actually come but they do come with the TF on the very top of the lipstick as well when you get them new they do have the TF imprinted on the top of the actual lipstick product as well so when you open it it's all fresh it just looks absolutely gorgeous very high-end feeling and you know it's just gorgeous so it does come in a really well presented way. It's a very creamy formula and the pigmentation is very high, they're not very sheer. It does give you an opaque colour payoff but it does also feel creamy at the same time. You can make them matte by applying a translucent powder on top of it but they do have quite a bit of shine. The only one that I own that has a different kind of formula is the Vanilla Suede and this is the lightest one I own. It's the palest nude I think I own. It's very very light but it almost has a sheen of gold running through it. It's a very weird texture but it doesn't go on as creamy as the other ones. I just feel that the other ones go on a lot smoother and this one kind of goes on a little bit bittier. This one is my least favourite out of the six I own just because the colour isn't that wearable. I do use it to mix with other colours but when you're buying lipsticks this isn't really the brand to go for when you want to mix colours together. You kind of want it to be the perfect lipstick, especially because of the price. Now, of all the ones I own, they have a very creamy texture, very opaque consistency, and they're amazing. They do look really nice. The formula is very comfortable. It feels quite luxurious on the lips. They're not very drying, and I really do like the way that they feel. The one thing that I actually don't like about this product is the smell. It's quite shocking for me because this is never usually a problem for me with lipsticks, but the smell is just not a high-end smell, if that makes sense. It kind of has a plasticky smell. It doesn't smell vanilla-y like MAC lipsticks. It doesn't have like a really nice smell. It kind of just smells like they haven't really put anything into it. So there still is a very light scent there, but it does still have that plasticky smell that's coming through. I like the smell of like MAC lipsticks and the NYX Butter Glosses and just like really nice sweet smells. I do understand that some people don't like that, but this just doesn't smell that great to me and that's the only thing that kind of disappoints me a little bit because the smell of a lipstick is quite important. You're applying it onto your lips and if you don't like the smell of it, it can kind of make you feel like... Apart from that, I love these lipsticks. They are very high-end. I was checking online to see how much they actually are. Some places are saying £26, which doesn't sound right to me because I think they are a lot more than that. I checked on House of Frasier and they sell them for £37, but then on another website I saw £26. Those are completely different prices, so I'm not entirely sure on how much they actually cost, but I'm just going to go by the majority of what I saw, and the majority was £37. I'm now going to go into the lip swatches. Push me down to the ground, what goes around comes around. You won't put the flame out, you can't get to me. Say what you want to say, go take it all away. But I'm here to stay, no you can't get to me. Me. And there is no barricade that I can tear away. Shoot me down the fire away, away. But I'm a heavyweight. I'm a heavyweight. I'm a heavyweight.
this swatch video. I hope that you enjoyed. This is just a quick informative video just to show you guys a lip swatch of a certain type of lipsticks. If there are any type of lipsticks you'd like me to swatch, then please do let me know in the comments below. I'd love to do more of these for you. I was going to do my MAC lipstick collection today, but I just don't have enough time for that. I must have... 50 plus MAC lipstick so I have a lot and it's a lot to go through so I think I'm just going to do that on another day I'm really scared to tackle that because there's just so many and yeah so I hope that you guys enjoyed please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any other lip swatch suggestions and I will see you guys in my next video so I will talk to you later bye Mwah.